Back in 2020, a lot of folks seem to like this view. Well, enjoy it because this is very likely gonna be the final time you're gonna see this on this channel. I'll explain why on This Week with Big C. They have these birds over here that are kind of presenting. I don't know whether they're just showing off or if they're looking for some fish to grab or trying to scare somebody off. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, they're just kind of doing their thing. Good stuff. Hello everybody and welcome to This Week with Big C. This is gonna be an interesting video because this is very likely gonna be the final time I come over here to the lake and the final time that I film bumpers at this current uh, address. So for a while now, Corey and I have been wanting to move on from our current apartment. We've lived in our current one bedroom apartment for about nine years. And it's just not doing it for us anymore, especially considering, you know, I work from home, so I'm at the apartment all the time. And he's been living in our living room rather than having his own proper room for a long time. Plus we've had to share a restroom and we've just outgrown our current space. So we've been needing to go to a new place and it also didn't help that our current complex is garbage uh, for multiple reasons. And of course I'll talk about those, I guess towards the end, but um, yeah, we've been meaning to move on for a while, and this episode kind of chronicles our journey of continuing to find a new place for us to move in about a month or less, potentially. Um, you're going to see the results, uh, or at least a result, at the end after we finish the recap. So let's go ahead and get to the recap, and uh, we'll see what happens. Everybody, it is Sunday, and uh, I've been back from Brosmas for a few hours now. Um, so by now, you've already seen all the Brosmas content. We already released it all, but I did want to talk a little bit about the experience because I don't know if I documented all of it um, in the Big C TV Adventure for Brosmas. Overall, it was a good time. Um, the main thing is I got to spend some time with the Bros, with Corey, Wyatt, and Matt. Really wish Shelby was able to make it, but I mean, he had prior engagements, so it is what it is. We kind of expect that at this point because he hasn't really been able to participate the last couple years. So maybe next year we'll finally be able to do something that works for his schedule. Um, I don't think I talked about this in the last episode, so I'll mention it. We did go back to the apartment complex that we were really excited about, and it turns out we don't qualify. Uh, it is a financial restrictive community, I guess is one way to put it, where you, you have to make under a certain threshold. And apparently, even though Corey is not making a whole lot of money right now, we're over it. So we didn't qualify, which is unfortunate because we really wanted to go there. That place looked absolutely perfect. So we're kind of back to the drawing board when it comes to finding a new place to live. Um, but we are continuing the search, so we'll continue to give updates as we go. Um... We're probably going to have to start branching a little bit farther away from this area. I mean, I, I ideally would have liked to have stayed in this general area that we're in now just to make the move easier. But it's starting to look like that's just not feasible. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can find something around here that's going to work within our price range. But uh, we're, we're kind of back to square one, which is unfortunate considering we have a little over about a month and a half before we have to move and that's cutting it a little close so we'll keep working on that um but yeah brosmas was good um the main thing that was a little rough is we we didn't have as much time as we wanted because everyone kind of got a late start matt wasn't able to get there till about seven o'clock 
And then uh, Wyatt didn't pick us up till about five. We didn't get to the hotel till about six. So by the time everyone got there, we kind of needed to get ready for dinner. And we did our, our opening and we did our gift exchange thing, which I also messed up because I forgot my presence at home. Um, which you saw the clips now that <laughs> showed the, the aftermath of that. Um, the other challenge, of course, was just it was it was tough to walk around City Walk as well as the fact that we weren't able to get the restaurant that we wanted. We we had a couple places we were really interested in. Both were already were fully booked, so we couldn't get them. So we got basically the one place we could get that was left and it was OK. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't horrible. So, I mean, we do what we did. Uh, of course, watch our our bros miss vlog on Big CTV Ventures if you want to learn more about the, the restaurant and everything else we did. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much by the time we got back, everybody was tired and we went to bed. And I mean, I know part of it is we're a lot older than we used to be, but it's it's just funny how, you you know, back in the day, we'd get home from, from being at City Walk and everyone would be like, yeah, let's play, let's play games, let's play board game, whatever. And uh, this year we all just was like, yeah, we'll just go to bed. <laughs> So uh, it was still fun. We had a good time. It wasn't quite as eventful as I would have liked, but you know, that's okay. It was still a good time. Um, we did we did do a little bit uh, this morning. We played a board game, um, did a couple extra clips for videos and stuff. So overall, it was a good time. And the main thing that I think we talked about, which I'm pretty excited for, is we're going to try to do kind of a mini Brosmas weekend sort of thing um, later on in the year because there's a bunch more stuff we want to do, not only at that resort, but also at City Walk, because we didn't get a chance to do the uh, escape room. We want to do that. Um, we want to actually eat at some of these restaurants. So we might try to do another kind of mini Brosmas event in the future. Um, we can go back and do that again, maybe <laughs> before next year. So that should be good. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what's been going on. Uh, I start my new schedule tomorrow morning. I'm pretty excited. The only part I'm not excited about is I have to try to force myself to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. I will say today it shouldn't be much of a problem because I didn't sleep that well at the hotel, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, I, I kind of already am planning on going to bed early and I'm pretty sure I'm going to sleep pretty well since I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So yeah, that's what's going on. Hey everybody, it is Friday. Uh, I am finally off after my long week of work. Um, I will say my first week on the new schedule, for the most part, I think was successful. I had a couple kind of rough sales days, but I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that it's January and it's one of the slowest months of the year when it comes to sales. So some of it I think is that, but I don't know. I think I did okay for my first week. I had a couple really good days, and I'm sure once we get into kind of our busier season, things are going to start looking up very quickly. Um, do have a couple cool things. Apparently, I not only was one of the best agents in December as well, which surprised me because I, I didn't think I did that great in December. Um, I was in the top 30 again uh, for December. But uh, the two months in a row that I got into the top 30 allowed me to be one of the top for the whole quarter. So there's a quarterly celebration that I get to attend in uh, February that I'm pretty excited about. So that's awesome. Um, again, one of the things I really like about Comcast and what they do is you know, that I get recognized on a regular basis for doing good work. So that's something that Disney just didn't do. They, they had certain people who they really liked and pretty much ignored everybody else. So I'm glad that, you know, Comcast has been doing a great job of recognizing those who have put in the work and have done, done great work for them. Uh, and it definitely makes you feel good when you get recognized like that on a regular basis. So that's been awesome. Um, other than that, uh, today I did get to see Greg for a little bit. He was in town cause he, uh, went to Disney with a friend of his from out of the country. Um, so we went to Sickies, which Greg had never been. So I'm glad I finally got to take him to Sickies and, uh, we opened some Pokemon cards, of course. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have any big plans for my 
first weekend weekend um, in a while. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go grocery shopping, so I'm planning on doing that. Um, nothing really big planned beyond that. Corey's actually out of town as well. He's uh, vacationing with his sister, so it's just me uh, by myself this weekend. So I'm probably just going to hang out, uh, get some editing slash video stuff done, I guess, and see where the weekend takes me. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday. And this box you see in front of you is relevant for a few different reasons. Um, the biggest of which is it is the first box that I've packed for the move. So we've officially started packing up and getting ready to move to a new place. Now, in terms of where we're specifically moving to, we have not quite figured that out. Uh, Corey has a decent lead on a place that it's not perfect. And finances are going to be a little rough, but it seems promising. Uh, and then we're gonna keep we're gonna keep looking just because we're in kind of a weird spot where together we make too much money to be able to do low income housing, but we don't make enough to be able to afford like more some of the better places. So we kind of just need to find a happy middle ground location, and we have not done that yet. Um, we got over a month, not a, a little over a month to find a new place and Corey's going to be diligently looking for a while. Um, I have limited free time because I work my full-time job, but I'm going to try to look when I have free time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the main thing that we're working on right now is we're trying to figure out where we're going to move and when, um, cause this coming Wednesday, I believe we pay our final full month's rent here. Um, so after that, we're kind of free because we don't have to worry about paying like a full month's rent. It's just like a couple, a few days before we leave. So yeah, that's kind of been the concern is we're just trying to figure out where we're going to move. Hopefully we'll find a new place soon that's going to really help us out. Um, but we haven't yet. So we'll keep looking. In terms of what's been going on, not a whole lot. Matt's coming over later. I think we're going to go hunting for some Crown Zenith. And that's really all I got. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, but I, hey, I, I, I packed my first box. I think what I'm going to do when I have free time, especially after work, is try to pack, you know, slowly but surely get stuff packed up. Because ideally, by the time we actually, like, hardcore have to move, we'll already be packed and ready to go. We just have to move the stuff that we're actively using. Um... So I'm going to try little by little to start packing up a lot of the, you know, stuff that I don't use on a regular basis. And of course, the first thing for me that I need to start working on is my game collection. Because A, I have, it's it's overloading everything anyway. But also, there's a lot to it to pack up. So I want to make sure I get it all packed and organized so that when we move and I have better shelving and more room to put everything up, um, you'll be ready to go. So... Yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'll keep everybody updated on how process is going when it comes to finding our new place. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. I uh, finished up work recently. Having a pretty good week overall, which is nice. Um, I did want to share some big news that happened yesterday. And that is, Corey and I have found a place that looks very promising. Um, we're going to be taking a tour of it tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on a Saturday. But it's not that far away. It's a little more money than we want to pay, but the floor plan looks really nice. It's still cheaper than this place, and overall it looks really good. Plus the upfront costs are not nearly as high as um, a lot of other places we've looked, so... This might be our, our new place, and uh, potentially, if all goes well, uh, we might try to lock it in on Saturday. So, we'll see what happens. Um, of course, I'll keep everybody updated on what happens with that, but yeah, we, we might have found our new home, and uh, we're really hoping so, because that's one less thing we'll have to worry about. Then we can focus on packing and getting ready for the move, but... Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this is the right place because, man, I just want to get that part of it, this process done. Hey, everybody, it is Saturday. I am waiting for the bus. Corey's going to be joining me in a minute, and uh, 
we are on our way to what we really hope is going to be our new home. Uh, we've been looking for a new place for a while now. We found a place that looks really good. Um, and it's, it's a decent price range. So we're going to go for a tour. And if everything looks good, we're going to try to lock it in today, which means we'll have a new home. So hopefully it'll all work out. Uh, we're just waiting for that bus to arrive and then we'll head over and uh, excited to see this new place. Hopefully it's everything we hoped it would be. So fun fact, the bench that I famously used for a lot of my clips in 2020 used to be over there. They've removed it. And it's funny because if you look across the lake, they left most of the other benches, but they removed the one over here. Just further reason why I hate our current complex and our management. Um, and I'm very ready to move on. But yeah, uh, used to be over there, now it's gone. So I'm sitting on this electric box because that's all that's over here anymore. So I'm sure you all are probably wondering what the result was of our tour. And uh, we ended up applying. So we turned in our application, we signed up for everything. We have been pre-approved. So we're just waiting on the final documentation and uh, we'll be able to move in to our new home uh, as soon as the 17th of February. So we have a new place to go. Um, I can't wait to show you, of course, I'm gonna document all of that. Um, and honestly, this is gonna open up so many more possibilities, not only for the channel, but also just our life in general. We're both just so excited that A, we're both gonna have our own rooms. We're both gonna be able to kind of expand um, what we currently have in terms of that. We're gonna have space to entertain, space to let people crash. Um, and there's a lot more to it that I can't wait to show everybody. So yeah, we're really excited about the new place. Of course, we'll go into more detail when we actually move, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite an adventure. It's been awesome, so. But yeah, um, we were kind of driven to leave our current place because A, we need more space, but also, of course, this place has been under different management teams a lot in the past nine years. The most recent one has proven to be the worst, which is saying a lot considering that on the surface, they seem to be doing the most to actually improve the place, but they're really not. So the company, I don't know what it's called, but like they, they rebranded the place to Arium Kissimmee Lakes and they've done a great job of blanding up the place. As you see, they've repainted all the buildings gray, except for the turret style buildings, which they just left. So it looks really bad um, and unfinished. And they just started replacing all the signs. The one good thing they did was they did re-roof all the roofs. Um, and over the past month, they have been refurbishing the laundry room. So they say, I actually looked in there earlier today and uh, it looks the exact same, just locked. So we haven't been able to wash our clothes for a month because they claim they're refurbishing the laundry room, but it's still locked and not accessible. No idea what they're doing, but um, they, of course, because they were doing all these improvements, quote unquote, to the community, they use this as an excuse to jack up everybody's rent by a substantial amount. So we were paying about 950 a month for our current rent and they wanted us to pay 1400. And we're like, yeah, no, no shot. <laughs> Absolutely no shot. So we are very happily leaving to a much better space um, it is more expensive than what we're paying now, obviously, but it's going to be a two bedroom, two bath. It's going to be so much better and we can't wait to show you. So anyway, here's a preview of one upcoming Big C TV episode and then we'll call it a day. So we've tried a lot of interesting lemonades in the past, but this one sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be trying out Berries and cream lemonade from Publix. Limited edition. Sounds interesting. Let's find out how it is. One last little panoramic look at the lake. Uh, possibly forever. I might try to come out here one more time, maybe before we like officially move. But especially since the bench is gone, uh, this might be it. So drink it in, because this is the last time you're really gonna see this lake. Probably. That's going to do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
If you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. Uh, hope you all enjoyed all the Brosmas content. Uh, it seems like everybody seemed to. Um, we're going to try to, again, release periodic content. It's not going to be necessarily every week or every day or whatever. We're not going to like set a schedule for it, but I'll try to release at least something every week. Um, we got some stuff planned, so it should be good. And of course, when we move, we're going to do a lot of videos regarding the move and everything. So it should be a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a couple weeks for... Hopefully, our first episode in the new place of This Week with Big C. Bye.